Welcome to the next video in the blocking series. In this video we're going to look at um, blocking wires that I've got from Knitpro and a steam iron. Now, word of caution, you have to be aware of the fiber content in your project before you use a steam iron. Animal fibers are um, very easy to steam. They handle steam very well. Most of the plant fibers as well, you can easily steam cotton. This is cotton that I'm going to steam now. But be very careful with acrylic yarn. Acrylic yarn is essentially plastic. It's a man-made product and it's a plastic product. So if you steam acrylic, you actually kill it because the plastic actually melts a little bit so it looks faulted. So be very careful when you want to steam acrylic yarn. I recommend that the iron never touches the yarn if it's acrylic. Rather hover about two centimeters above the project to avoid any damage to it. Now in this um, Nipro blocking, pin, uh, blocking wire set we have long wires and we have short wires. I just want to use a short one to just give you an indication of how it works. This is amazing for blocking shawls with, especially if the shawl is very lacy. Very nice to pull open the lace. Okay, let's say I want to block the side of this thing nice and square. So what I will do is I will thread the pin through the, the wire. So the wire will keep the edge straight. Now the only time when I'm this concerned about an edge is when it's something square or rectangle like this that needs a nice edge. Uh, and I will, bin, uh, I will block shawls like this to get the lace open. Otherwise uh, the blocking wires are the least used tools in my blocking arsenal. I prefer the um, pins. I only use the wires when I really, really have to. Okay, so you can see, if you would now want to get a very nice corner, you would obviously thread the side as well, but I'm going to leave that there for now. What I've got here is a nice steam iron. This is a Genesis from Verimark. You will see that the motives are not nice. They, they curling up. This one was in the wash, so it needs a little bit of love before it goes back down on the table. So I'm just going to steam it and I'm going to flatten the motifs. As I steam them, I will just give them a quick pull, flatten them nicely with my hands. And where necessary, you can push, you can pull, you can stretch. Steam is a wonderful thing to block with. I absolutely love it. Now, that being said, if you are working with animal fiber such as merino that is not superwash, it can felt. In a case like that, you must be very careful with steam because you don't want the project to felt, do you? Unless you really want it to felt, yes, then obviously that would work. But now, look at that. Isn't that a massive difference? Just with a little bit of steam. Compare that now to what we had just now. Let me move this for you, then you can see. Oh, let's just quickly block that one. And as soon as it's cool, you can take the, the blocking wire out. Obviously, I'm not going to touch the wire now. It's going to be very hot because it's metal. Now, if you look at that side and you compare this side, you can clearly see this side has not been steamed yet. It's all over. It's standing up. It's not laying nice and flat. So steam blocking is basically ironing with a steam iron and shaping it as far as you go. Of course you can pin it as well. I'm going to show you just now. I have a merino jacket that needs a little bit of blocking on the collar. On the collar. And I'm going to do that now to show you what it looks like. This jacket um, is crocheted with Pia Merino single spun lace and the neck doesn't look the way I want it to. It's supposed to have a nice corner there but it's curling all over the place so I'm going to pin it and block it. I'm using normal sewing pins lining the neck edge and pinning that. 
you can of course use your um, the wide blocking pins that we've seen before now this is superwash merino so I'm not scared of felting it if it wasn't superwash I would have been very reluctant to use a steam iron I would rather just spray it lightly and leave it to dry but this is superwash so no damage at all okay let's get that corner nice we go right now I'm going to steam this very lightly you will also see that I don't necessarily put the steamer right onto the wool and press it down it's hovering very very close to the item Here we go. Now I'm going to leave it to cool down and dry completely and then I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like when we take it off. This one is dry, cool. Let's take out the pins and see what it looks like. And as always, much better. Professionalism just with a little bit of water, steam and pins.